Hey, what's up, guys? Hey, this is Retro. Um, my real name is Collier. Yeah, Collier. Boinkin is the third. No, I'm playing, but it's Collier. Uh, I'm making this video because um, I wanted to talk about something, and I feel like it's not spoken on a lot, right? Even though it's 2023, but um. The pandemic started in 2020, um, March 2020. I remember I was working at Little Caesars, uh, Little Caesars, uh, Pizza Pizza. Um, I was 18, right? I was 18, going on to 19 of that year. Um, I was like, yo, like working day in, day out, just working like really crazy. And I was doing school, schooling at the same time. I was going to Wayne County Community College, um, the Eastern campus uh, of Connor area. Connor, yeah, I think it's Connor. Um, when I was going there, I remember I was going to school and I loved it. I was taking, you know, electives uh main courses but i didn't know what i was going to school for i didn't even know why i was there if i'm being honest um i remember growing up and i would like tell like when they would come in like like when military people or like like firemen or policemen would come in uh or even like parents who were like doing something like if somebody's mom or dad was like a doctor or a lawyer or like was a physician they would say what do you guys want to do when you grow up and i'll say engineer how many of us have said that how many of us have said they want to go in for criminal justice how many of us have said that they want to go excuse me a biology a biology or a chemist you know what i mean but it's kind of weird it's like you really don't know. You know what I mean? Seriously, you really don't. Like, it's some things that we pick up along the way. Whether it's good, bad, people pick those things up along the way that kind of deter the path that you thought you were going to go down. Um. Anyway, I was in school. And I remember, like, you know, just going to the classes and working and going to the classes and working. And, like, it felt right because I didn't have anybody down my throat. I didn't have anybody on my back, you know, about what I was going to do or what I was doing or anything. It seems like when you're doing everything that everybody talks about, when you don't know, it seems like you're doing the right thing. Especially when it's coming from those that you love. The ones who just want the best for you. But at what point do we ask ourselves, when do we want the best for ourselves? When COVID hit, I remember I quit my job because um, I didn't want to get sick. Uh, you know, and just staying at home. It was crazy. I was like, man, I, you know, I just started losing it. And then, like, you know, I got into this this box, into this square. And, you know, I started venturing off into different things. Like, um, I don't know if anybody knows what, like, like Forex is dumped into that. That was crazy. Um, some of the biggest scam artists in the world that target the black community. Yes. Um, Emron Ritchie. If you ever see this in the future, uh, you are a manipulative, conniving individual. Um, their whole game is just to, it's just to see who can finesse the best. That's it. That's all. That's it. That's all. I'm from Detroit, Michigan. Um, one of the places known for scamming. I understand that, you know, it, it's, it, it's, it's wrong. It's wrong. It's, it's very wrong. Okay. It's very wrong. But they don't see it that way. They don't. They don't see it that way. I didn't. I didn't met the leader of the whole pack, white guy from New York. His dad was a, was a, was a, 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 
he was working construction. Uh, grew up poor. His whole backstory, man. He had whole fed cases open on the whole family, man. Okay, the whole family. All right, but anyway, leaving that. Um, I remember I was just going through so many trials and tribulations. You know, quitting my job, staying at home. Um, and then school, I pursued school. Uh, my, I was done with like my first year going into my second year, right? Towards, I was like, um, once turning 19, I remember thinking to myself like, dude, school scene is cool. But then I started getting asked these questions like, okay, Hey son or brother or friend. Hey, yo, Kylie, or, you know, y'all, some people call me retro. Nobody knew my name until I said it on here. But what are you graduating for? I was like, oh, wait, <laughs> wait, hang on. Wait, people go here to see what I mean? I pursued nothing. Like, I was going there you know, thinking like, okay, hang on, I've got time to kind of figure out, dibble dabble here and there and there and there, you know, to find out like what I might like and what I won't like. But then I started figuring out like, okay, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. You know, seriously, maybe, maybe this isn't for me. So long story short, going into 2021, um, you know, mid-2021, I remember leaving school. After leaving school, uh, I would, you know, I did DoorDash, like, back to back to back to back. I always had this hustling mentality in any work that I ever did in life. Like, it was either picking up dog poop, cutting grass, uh, you know, fixing up houses, cleaning gutters, um, outside work, period. Um, you know, I forgot to mention, when I was in middle school, I used to re be like really heavy in the robotics. I used to be really heavy in the coding. I used to be really heavy in the computers. I loved video games. I was always a fanatic on like, you know, violin, instruments, period, you know, just jazz music, all of those different things, just collectively, comic books, like all of those things collectively, like just slowly were pushed away the older I got because I was exposed to so much BS. And I wasn't the cool kid growing up. I was far from, you can look at me and see, I was not the cool kid growing up, okay? I hope you can because if not, Maybe the perspective on cool isn't really put in perspective. You understand what I mean? Like, like in school, cool is who has this and who has that. If you don't have it, you ain't going to get it. That's, that's, that's as best as I can put it. Um, and, you know, when I was in school, it was the clothes. It was uh, sports. Like, that's pretty much it. Like, after, like, wanting, you know, uh, somebody to talk to or friends so bad, I started going towards basketball. You know, not saying that that's not cool, but, you know, I started going towards basketball. I started, you know, started getting in with groups and just, like, I, I, I couldn't even be around them too long because, you know, I they could tell I'm just not one of them. I could never be one of them. Like, Man, and they for sure can never be one of me. That's that's what I had to learn young. Like, man, I really have to literally stick to my own square. I have to literally stick to who I am. But I kind of lost it older I got. Seriously. For real. In Detroit, I can honestly say in Detroit, Michigan, they will make you feel like, um, and I know I'm getting a little off track, let me, let me, let me, let me get back on track. So in 2021 of June, when I left school, um, I remember doing DoorDash like day in, day out, 
I always, you know, just, I just, man, the moment I got up, I hustled almost 12, sometimes for a whole day, 12, 24 hours. Uh, I would get home, shower, brush my teeth, you know, lay down, you know, probably the same clothes next morning, man, right back on that same type of time. I'd probably, you know, change my clothes like three, four times through the week. Like, I, dude, what? What's, like, seriously, I was on it, you know, and making oh so much. But guess what? It was taking a lot of my time. It was taking away a lot of my focus. So then I started finding out, like, whoa, even the work, even making the money that, like, everybody claims that you need to prosper, like, it takes away so much time. Like, you can't think for yourself when you're doing that to yourself. You can't. You can't. You can't. There's no way, no how. So I got the same experience out of going that crazy for the bag as I did in a place where I felt I didn't belong. Whether that was at home, whether that was at school, whether that was at a workshop, like seriously, I had to literally take a step back and say, okay, what have I always liked? It's not like I got into any new interests other than, you know, probably herbs. That's it. Seriously, what other interests did I fall into? None. All of them revolve around the same thing. Technology, maybe cars. I'm like Batman. Like, what, 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 what does, where did it ever change? Seriously, where did it ever change? And now what's so crazy to me is that the same things that were lame when I was growing up, everybody's doing it now. Everybody. Like computers, robots, everybody and their mama want to be an engineer, a subpar coder, everybody. Seriously. Like anybody who dibble dabbles in, you know, whether it's Discord or an online app or, you know, it's even shown like every day on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, Reddit, etc., etc. Everybody and their mama want to be a, sci- a rocket scientist or, you know, a, a history teacher on everything that they say. Everybody, everybody and they mama, like for real. And it's crazy. And that's a separation factor right there because when you see so much hate on land, you start to think, man, you start to start looking at people on a day-to-day basis like they haters in the comments. But you know, I try not to do that. You know, that, that's, that's why I kind of shied away from the internet, you know, on a, on a certain level, I'll still indulge, but I won't be in as much as I used to be, like I was in high school and middle school. Like, what was the first social media that I know of? Kick. Kick. All day. <laughs> hey, I don't know who all here know kick, know about kick, but boy, <laughs> man. But man, like, seriously. But back to the story, man, like, on... As far as uh, content creation goes, I want to try it. I do. Like, I said, like, okay, maybe what if I put out the same love that I have for certain things like video games, art, cars, just technology, period, robots. What if I just put all of that on a platform? And created a community behind it. Like people who actually, excuse me, would care to see my growth. You know? I'm not really stuck on where would, where would my life be if I was thinking this way at, hmm, 15 when I picked up my first blunt, 14, when I picked up my first blunt, you know, where would my life be? I'm not stuck on that at all. Matter of fact, that's never even been a thought. My main focus is how many lives could I change 
while I pursue that same journey with people watching. You know, and that's that's what I think I could take, you know, take in the most. Because I'm nowadays, uh, uh, I was just watching a couple of YouTubers from like when I was in middle school and I was just comparing them to like what I'm seeing mostly now. Everything, if it's not clickbait, it's an overly sexualized video that targets kids. Yes, y'all heard it first. Yes, it targets young kids, like between the ages of, man, 12, 16, 10, like you name it, bro. Seriously, and everybody, their mama got got a a phone, a laptop, a computer, um, a tablet, like all of that stuff targets, you know, kids. Seriously, like you know, early. And I can, I doubt that there's a grown man who's like in his mid thirties watching a thumbnail of two people sticking their tongues out at each other. I'm just saying, do some thinking now. You know what I mean? It's, it's just. You know, let's really talk about it. It's just some really strange times for content creation. I really do feel that way. There's there's not a lot of purpose out here um, for the ones who, who who still have the purpose, still have that strive, and still have that dedication towards the craft outside of content creation and also inside of that. I commend you. Big ups to everybody who's been holding that, that iron hammer, man, seriously, because... There's so much craziness going on in the content creation world, and I'm not with it. All it's starting to seem like is politics. I'm not a politician. So, hey, I appreciate everybody for tuning in, man. Um, I, you know, I'm doing this full time. Let's check to where we can, you know, where we can get. This is the third month. I'm I'm updating from my last uh face-to-face -face video i did my first video on here like last month um you know this is my second update so anyway uh this is the third month i appreciate everybody for listening i know this was lengthy. i appreciate everybody for listening i appreciate listening much love if you stayed this long to listen um make sure you you all like comment hit that notification button and subscribe uh I appreciate everybody tuning in, bro. Hey, Retro World out.